being in Arrowhead, if you've never been there before, that last part when you hear it go, the home of the Chiefs. It sent a chill down your back because you didn't know it was coming. I've had a 14 year career and I've been able to be a chief from beginning to end. There was a couple opportunities at the end of my career where I could have went and played at other teams and I just sort of felt that this was the first place that gave me an opportunity. They gave me a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, your Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2015. And I want to be one of those guys. I want to be a person that could put their roots here and say, this is home. There was times that I didn't think I was going to make the startup because, you know, I had some injuries and, you know, nagging things. But I had a couple of teammates of mine was like, yeah, we're going to put some bubble wrap on you, some tape, and you're going to go out and play because we need you on the field. An awesome luck by Will Shields. I just wanted to be accountable for my guys. I see us as being the same in the community. We have to depend on each other to get to where we want to go. When I came to Kansas City, I saw the difference that the guys in the room were making, and I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to carry on the legacy of what Chiefs players do. So we ended up coming with the will to succeed. I call it the Umbrella Foundation because we cover a lot of different things. But when we first started our foundation, we were really into reading and literacy. There was a school, Central Middle School. They didn't have a library. So what we did is we actually built a library in the hallway. Quite a few years later, I'm at the draft and I'm gonna do the third round pick for the Chiefs. A young lady walks up to me and she taps me on the shoulder and says, Mr. Shields, I've been waiting for you to get here today. You don't know me, but you did a library in our hallway when I was a kid and that started me reading and now I'm a lawyer working for the NFL in the league office. It's just amazing the little things that you do that you don't really count on it. You just say, hey, this is something that's needed. And then you find out that somebody was able to use it and benefit from it. It's one of the coolest things ever. Now we work with about 50 or 60 different groups here in the Kansas City market on a regular basis and love every minute of it. I use the mantra of Hanta Yo. It's a Sioux word for clear the way. And I put it together with what our prayer was that we did at college. Day by day, we're getting better and better. So day by day, we clear the way. Yo, make sure you make your mark today. It's really cool to see the next generation. Right now is the chance for them to make a big difference. Every day, you have to have something that's action-driven to make a change.